morning. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Mins, and today I'm going to teach you how to get ready for dates. Because I know so much about dates because I've been on so many, like, none yet, but I will soon, but I'm still an expert. You're not going to want to go on a date looking like this. Now, uh, so we're going to start off by learning how to do the makeup. Um, now, I know I've already done a makeup tutorial, but that was more of an everyday look. This is um, like a date look, so it's a little bit more uh, dark and uh, mysterious. So let's go. Now, just prime your face with the makeup. How to do that? You don't do anything. But then next you're going to tie your hair up, because remember what I said before? Makeup's acid. It could burn your hair. Watch out. This looks gonna be um, a bit dark and uh, mysterious, so we're actually gonna switch it up. We're gonna take a blush brush instead of an eyeshadow brush because uh, we're original like that. And just find a line of dark colors and just sweep it up. Sweep it. Yeah, I'm classy. It's what I am. And uh, you don't need a mirror because mirrors are overrated. You don't need mirrors. Just keep applying until you feel as if it's ready because you just have to feel when it's ready you know that's that's the same with the dates you, you have to know you have to feel when you're ready for certain things and I'm not talking about that because that's that's dirty that's no that's not appropriate for Sandman's channel no how mystical do I look now we're going to take uh, a, a, a bright red because uh, I heard that Red is the most appealing color to the men's. Just apply that and blend. Blend always. Just just blend everything, you know? You're going to want to look fierce like a cat. So uh, take some silver eyeliner because it reminds the man of metal. And uh, metal is fierce? Metal is fierce. Just apply to the lower rim of the face line. It, 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 all done. Now we're gonna take a blue because uh, you wanna surprise them. Maybe you line your brows with that. It's like, what? I didn't know you had blue eyebrows. Well, a surprise. And make sure you get a big arch because, like, that's attractive, huh? Huh? It's attractive? It's very attractive. Now take a mascara and just apply it. Apply it. Apply it. You're gonna make a heart on your face to show the man how in love you are and you're such a loving, caring person, huh? So we're just gonna make a heart. Perfect. Oh, so you're just gonna apply that to like, just close your eyes and just guess. You know, that's, that's, that's a surprise of life where you just guess. You're gonna line the lower lash line because that makes, it's like the smoky eye, you know, like, <sighs> yes. Oh God, oh my eyes are burning. Now we're moving on to the lips. We're gonna use baby lips because inappropriate. It's still a pretty color. Just gonna apply wherever you feel it's necessary. Now that is all for makeup. Time to move on to the hair. Now just take down the messy bun and flip your hair because it'll get him overwhelmed. Um, you're gonna want to do kind of a ceremony look, which I usually do. Um, I just do a big poof, like a really big one, like about that big. So we're just gonna pin that down. Great job, you pinned it down. We're not gonna hairspray it because then that requires you have to shower, wash it all out after. We're being good for the environment. The hairspray is bad for the environment. Uh, using too much water is bad. See, Sarah likes to be eco friendly. So we're gonna take a little crown and just put it underneath the poof. And hopefully it should stay there. Huh. Well. All right, so now the hair is done. See how easy was that? Now, let's move on to clothes. Now, if there's one thing you must learn about clothes, it is do not look like a tramp. Mm-mm. Goodbye. You're going to want to wear something that makes you look easily relatable, like you're caring and loving. Like this. Puffy bird shirt to make you look like you love nature. And then maybe a beanie to look like you're one of the guys, you know, what's up my home doggy dog. Perfect. Uh, now, uh, for the pants, you're gonna do something colorful so you'll easily be noticed. Like this. Yeah. Aren't these clothes to die for? Now that you're all done looking fabulous, 
and fierce and fresh. We're gonna learn how to act on a date. Number one rule of thumb, do not act dumb because then the guy's like, oh, okay, this no, how about? You have to act like you know everything. Like, sit on the table with your hands like this because this, this is just the number one sign that you know business, mm-hmm. Okay, in, in second, but if the guy asks you a question, you don't understand the answer. Just say, merp. History of your ancestral certain dinosaurific uh, elemental P. Merp. If the guy starts texting on your date when you're trying to talk to him, grab his phone, smash it on the ground, and start stamping on it until it breaks into bits and pieces, throw it in his salad, take the salad bowl, and throw it down the toilet, and flush. Also, showing him one of your talents really helps. That was a Titanic theme. Uh, and also, you're going to want to pack some pepper spray, you know, just in case, you know. Um, well, anyways, I think you're, you look all ready for the date. Um, you're perfect. You know what to do. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more of these tutorials coming soon. Uh, and you'll be a life expert just like me. So, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And if all else fails, ah, what am I saying? Sermon's tips never fail.